leaving behind July. We're ending it on a hot note, but let's reminisce. Let's look back at July oh. and just think about all the wonderful memories of the cooler temperatures <laughs> that we had. It was a good month. It was a good month. Nice. At least for about two weeks. Yeah, that's Probably like, like that's a half, solid that's half of a weeks. month. Yeah, that's like which a long time. Upper eighties, right. low nineties. Started off a little questionable. Yeah, but we we pulled it through. And you know what? That's the hope we gotta have yeah. for August. Yeah, it's August starting big shoes very to fill. questionable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. But hopefully, yeah. it just you know says here we'll start off hot, but I'll do my thing, and then we'll be we'll be better. You know, uh -huh. <laughs> we we gotta have some hope here. Um, we were, of course, dealing with some 80s there for a while, and now we're paying for it. We are talking triple-digit heat here these past, or feels like temperatures have been in the triple digits, but our temperatures have just been hanging in the upper 90s. So, so far on the way out the door, due to this, that humidity, the mugginess, it's just not feeling the best out heading out there today. So keep that in mind. You're going to need those ACs going all throughout today. We're tracking mostly clear skies right now. Shangri-La Resort at Grand Lake, all part of Wade's RV Weather Camera Network. Temperatures, Tulsa, we're at 82 degrees, but we're still seeing some upper 70s in Okmulgee, Okima, Prior, Tahlequah as well. Southerly winds will continue to stay breezy, which is the good news here. And then as we go towards the afternoon, that's when we're tracking, once again, very similar conditions. Your temperatures will be in the upper 90s. Could be reaching digits for them, but it's certainly going to feel like that. We could be feeling upwards of 110 degrees, and that's why we still have that excessive heat warning. So upper 90s, low 100s. This is going to go from 12 to 9 p.m., and it is likely this is going to continue to extend into your Thursday, which is the start of August. But we've been talking about reminiscing on July. So huh. meteorologist Annie Brown has a little bit more details on that. It was a great month. You know, we had certain issues where we were above average and the right ones where we wanted to be below average. And in fact, here for Tulsa, we came in above average on that rainfall. As you can see, rainfall totals was just over five inches. Not bad for July at all, considering we average about uh, just shy of four inches of rainfall. We did hit a daily record of uh, rainfall on the 17th, which was 2.38 inches. 80 degree temperature days, we were talking about this, 14, or excuse me, 11 of them, 100 degree temperature days, two of them out of when we average about four to five, hottest high was 101 on the 15th and the coolest low was 62 on the 19th. Doesn't that sound nice right about now with all this heat that we're tracking? As we look ahead towards August, we do start to lose daylight, something worth mentioning, something that you'll start to notice. Here for Tulsa, we're in that Kind of that in-between phase where we could see anywhere between 60 to 90 minutes lost as we go throughout the month. Emma? And Annie here just looking ahead at August, what you can expect. I mean, this is the beauty of it. We're starting off very hot. Here's our average. We're looking at 95 on August 1st, and then your lows in the lower 70s. But look at that. By August 31st, our average is going to be 90 degrees and our low, 68 degrees. In fact, our sunrise will start mm. off at 6.31 a.m. Eventually, we'll be waking up with some sunrises closer to that 7 o'clock hour. And then nighttime, they are 7.52 p.m. So that's just something to at least look forward to here as we go into the month of August. But we are still looking very hot start. In fact, August 1st, temperatures in the lower 80s heading out the door. A very, very slight chance for an isolated shower or storm to pop up. So keep that in mind heading out the door tomorrow and then temperatures in those triple digits by the afternoon. Tomorrow looks very, very hot. And unfortunately, with the heat indices, that's why I'm saying that excessive heat warning could continue into tomorrow. And then after that, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we do get at least a northerly wind for Friday as a very weak front moves through. That'll continue to provide another isolated chance. And then we are dry and temperatures still in the upper.